Hi, so this video is about the myriad uses of get. English is what I like to call idiosyncratic, not just perhaps because of its odd spelling, but also because we prefer to use vague words uh, to replace bigger, for example, a Latin root word. English has its quirks and charms, as is with just about every language, I suppose. Uh, but we gotta admit, get does serve quite a few different functions, as we shall see. My ebook has this in a PDF format, and uh, I'll be reading from this. So, before we begin, idiosyncratic usually refers to someone's peculiar temperament, but here I'm using it loosely or vaguely to mean that English is both idiomatic and syncretic, with both its peculiarities of losing its inflections and in the sense of its having many idiomatic formulations. A delexical verb is technically one that doesn't bear much semantic significance, only which verbs, including have, take, make, do, get, etc., don't carry meaning. Actually, they do always bear semantic meaning. Indeed, just as many words will carry several different definitions and functions depending on context, get is no exception. Let's put it to you this way. Uh, put itself has as many as 18 different definitions in one dictionary, and that's without affixing the particle in put in, put out, put away, put up with, and so on. But put here in, in the expression put it to you means impart. Oftentimes, become is wrongly used by non-native speakers. For instance, we don't become a job, we get a job, or we get hired or fired. And we don't become a diploma or degree, but get one. A person can become a doctor or engineer, etc., after getting a degree. This is because become is used to express a transformation. Much the same way as we might say he became angry or got angry. Or it expresses a development, as in he became ill. Although we can also say he got ill. And then when you reach a certain status, she became a nurse and not got a nurse. So get involves a process. He got out of bed and had breakfast. When he got to work, he had a coffee. It can also be a complication involved. So he got measles. Uh, he got himself arrested. He was arrested by the police, put into a cell. In fact, get is often used instead of a reflexive verb, where French and German use reflexive. So get in contact or get in touch with get dressed. English tends to avoid reflexive pronouns unless it's absolutely necessary or when we wish to emphasize singularity, singularly performing an act. Or then get is used with a comparative adjective to announce a development. It's getting colder. As they say in the Beatles song, it's getting better, a little better all the time. It can't get no worse. Get can be used to replace the have in the causative structure. I had my hair cut or I got my hair cut. My hair was cut by a hairdresser, an expert or professional, where cut is the resultative adjective. I got the job done. Done is not a past participle. These are resultative adjectives showing that the task was completed in this case. Essentially, get involves a process and or complication. It's also often used to avoid a more obvious use of a reflexive pronoun. And it is one of many processes I call simplification, 
which you can follow in my other videos. Consider he got arrested. So he was arrested by the police and will have been questioned. A report will have been filled out and he was then possibly detained and or incarcerated. Get clues us in to a process and subsequent complication. So get can mean obtain, receive, fetch, purchase, achieve a grade, contract an illness or discomfort, gradual development, process, reach an emotional state, understand or grasp the meaning. Do you begin to get it? In some cases, either become or get are possible with emotions. So he got upset or he became upset. But arguably get means he got himself upset, whereas he became upset is more unintentional. When used before a particle, adverb or pre preposition, get can mean many other things. So my book describes these in detail. So using get helps avoid bigger words from Latin origin. So instead of arrive or return from somewhere, we just might say get back. They got home safe and sound. Get plus an object pronoun can mean to bring. Go and get is fetch. Get me my jacket, will you? Get something can be to buy something. Uh, we get round something is actually to persuade or convince someone. Get can mean to achieve, accomplish, receive, obtain, complete. He got the work done, uh, where he got promoted, elected, and so on. So you can see how get reflects what I call idiosyncratic aspect of English. So that's just about it. I hope you begin to understand more about the nature of English. Looking forward to the next video.